In this intermediate Microsoft Word tutorial, you will learn how to use some of the most important Microsoft Word functions. To begin, I want to place a header to this document. So what I need to do is hover my mouse to the Insect tab and click on it. Now I would locate the header and footer over here and click on the header button. These are the functions. You can click on anyone depending on your preference and what you're working on. So I choose the first one and type in to tutorial and press the tab key. The next thing I want to add there is date and time. So if I click on date and time, this dialog box comes out and I will choose the second function that is there. These are available functions. You might choose any one of your choice. And you can see, I can go ahead and click OK, leaving this tick here, meaning that if this document is to be opened tomorrow or the following day or any day is opened, it will update automatically. But I do want to have a fixed date. So I'll click OK. So to get off the header, just double click on the body test. And there we are. Now, the next thing I want to do is put a word at here. So I need to select the heading. Notice that this is heading and that is header. They are two different things. So to place word at, word at to my heading, I selected it. So I'll go to the word at, hover my mouse to where I have test group, click on the word at button and choose the style that I want. You can see that my work is messed up already. If I click and press the enter key to push down, I can really push that part of the test down. So what I need to do is to go back and place a space below the heading. I pressed three times to put space here. So let me add the word at, go to the insect tab, hover my mouse to the test group, word at, and choose the style. So you can see my work looks nicely now. So the next thing I want to talk about is page setting. To apply page setting to your document, you go to the layout tab over there. Now let's talk about the margins click on the margins you can see already at the margins I have the normal setup already highlighted but I want to use the moderate so I can click on the moderate and my work adjusts what if you want to adjust or customize your work to your preference so let's go back to the margins if I want to customize it I go to the custom margins now this dialog box comes out i can apply two centimeter each to the margins over there now click two centimeter and that's it i can also decide to leave it at top two centimeter bottom two centimeter i can also go ahead and apply two centimeter to this point and that point left and right so i'll just leave it at top and bottom two centimeters and click ok all right, that's what I have. So page orientation. So by default, Microsoft Word comes as portrait. All right, but what if you can decide to change your document to landscape? Looks nice, all depends on what you're working on. So I wanna go back to portrait. Good, that's what I want to use. Now let's change our page size. You go to the size button page setup size now it's at a4 i can go ahead and choose letter typeloid legal executive all depends on what you your preference let's work with the letter all right good the next button i like to talk about is the columns good for you to apply columns you need to select the area you want to apply columns to so you can look at this document you would see that it's, we have just one column here 
In order to apply columns to a certain area of your document, you need to select that aspect. Let's say this is where I want to apply columns to. So it's selected. Now I go to my page, to my layout tab, page setup, and click on the columns. We have different kinds of columns, two columns, three, left, and right. So I want to work with two columns. You see how our document is taking nice shape. You can further customize these columns. So let's go back to the columns. Click on the more columns. Here we are. Two columns. You can change your preference. I want to customize the spacing. So I click and reduce it or make it to two centimeter spacing. You can see the preview here. I can also place a line between the spacing. You can see what it looks like. And then I'll press OK. So our work looks nice and good. Now the next thing I like to do is select the body test. All of it. Select the body test. Go to the Home tab and apply over here the paragraph group. I want to apply justify alignment. Scroll up you would see that our document looks nice. Nice. You can further go ahead, select all of it, and probably apply a line spacing of your choice, which we already talked about in the beginner's guide. So I can go to the paragraph group, choose over here that button line spacing. I want to add, leave it at 1.15 line spacing. So if I hold my mouse, across or around you would see my work looks nice and good just remember that your work need to be clean to make it professional find and replace i want to look for the word document and replace it with file so what i need to do is hover my mouse to the home tab and locate the editing group and here I'll click on replace some versions have it as find and replace but this one is replace so I'll just click on the replace button there so this dialog box comes out quickly type in the document you the, the word you're looking for which is document it's already there in the first box that says find what on the next box type in file find document and replace it with file so you can go ahead quickly and click on replace and it replaces it for you but what if you want to actually format this letter here or this word here file so you need to click on this button go ahead go to format replace go to format and we are working on fonts click on the font this dialog box comes out so I can go ahead and change the font style. The font style here, I want to make it bold. You can see what it shows me here. And I want to increase the size of the font to 16. So let me click 16. You can see the preview here, what it looks like. And I want to apply a color to that font, which is font color over here. I click. If you hover your mouse, it gives you the color. Here it says blue accent one, but I want to use the red. So I click red. Good. So the next thing I would like to do is to make that font all caps. So I uncheck that box. So I have a capital letter. You can go ahead and underline the style. So you can also say no color on the line, but I don't want to underline. So I will leave it at that formatting and click OK. So it takes us back to the previous dialog box. So what you need to do at this point is now say click on this button replace all. It's finished replacing the file in our document or the word in the document. What I need to do now this dialog box comes out which says all done. We made 10 replacements. Click OK and go ahead and click close. So if you notice that after performing this find and replace that it didn't replace it, close your document, 
restart it, open it again and perform the same command. Okay, so you can see I changed this file so you can actually see that we eventually replaced the word. So the next thing I want to do is to apply borders. For me to apply borders, you can apply borders to the page and you can as well apply borders to a particular word or phrase. So at this point, I want to apply borders to the heading. So what I need to do is select the heading. Now locate the paragraph group over here. And now this icon here is borders. Click the more arrow and you can choose what kind of border you want to have in the heading. That is outside border. If that's what you want, you can click and all of that. But what if you want to further format it? Go to the borders and shading. Click on that. This dialog box comes out. In this dialog box, we have three buttons. The borders, the page, border, and the shading. So we're working on the borders for the phrase I selected. So I'll check on the box. That's what I want. The style. Uh, I want to leave it at this. So I click on that style. And I can decide to make the width here. I can make it a little bit thicker. Here I can decide to apply color to the borders. But I will leave it like that. And remember, apply to. We're working on test. So click test and click OK. You can see the preview there and say OK. All right. So we, you can see we've applied um, borders to a phrase or to test. So let's apply borders to the page. Again, I'll go back to the paragraph group, go to the borders, click on that more arrow, go back to borders and shading. At this point, I would click on the page border. So if I click on the page border, the same thing, I want to apply a 3D page border this time. So I click on 3D and here I can select what style that I want. I want that particular one. So I click, you can see what it looks like. And I can decide to increase that width. All right, so I like it as it is. Now apply to whole document. If it's a page border, then leave it at whole document. So if I click OK. All right, so you can see we have a nice and looking, nice looking document here. The next thing I want to do is spell check. You can see over here there are some wavy underlined words, red wavy underlined words, which means that the spellings are wrong. So if I want to correct this, I can spell check by right clicking and choosing the right word. That's one way you spell check. Another way you want to check or spell check proofread your document would be you going straight to the quick access toolbar over there. Going to the quick access toolbar and clicking on that APC symbol that says spelling and grammar. If I click on that, immediately it corrects this information or tells me what to do. Another way you can do that is you click on the review tab over there. All right, so if I click on the review tab, I need to hover my mouse to the proofing. All right, so I go to check document so I can decide to use the suspect to correct these other words that have wavy underlined red color there. So if I click on check document, now immediately on my right hand side pane, I have this already out telling me that I have two words that are incorrect. So if I click on that, immediately it goes to that one that says pictures and it gives me suggestion of what I need to do. So that's exactly what I want picture. So I click on that. It replaces it for me. So that it goes straight back to the next one incorrect word, which is your. So this is the suggestion and that's what it is. I click on it and that's it. Spelling and grammar check is complete. So I have successfully corrected my documents. Good. The next thing you can look for word count. So I'll just go ahead and close that pane. Word count. If I click on word count, it tells me exactly what 
I have in this document pages. I have two pages. These are the words, characters, character widths, spaces, paragraphs, lines. So this actually tells me my word count. Another way you would want to know the word count in your document is actually going towards the tax bar. Here you can see the page layout and the word count here, 400 words. All right, so that's it. You can see our work is looking nice and good. Thanks for watching this tutorial. I hope you find it interesting and useful. If you did, please click the like button and subscribe to stay updated. See you in the next video.